guys and welcome back or welcome to my channel um so today as you can tell by the title of this video i'm gonna be doing a weight loss video um obviously kind of prompted because it's the beginning of the new year and for a lot of people their goals revolve around like getting in shape or losing weight um stuff like that which like i wouldn't say is necessarily the most important new year's resolution you can have but that is the one that i have the most experience in so that's what i'm addressing um this video is going to be pretty lengthy because I'm going to cover a few different things and questions. So what I've done, because when I'm watching videos like this, I want to know specific things and sometimes that's it, is I've linked down below when each segment starts so that if you're just here for a specific part of the video, you don't necessarily have to watch the whole thing. Um, I would love for you to, but that's up to you. I'm just trying to help you all out and talk about something that I actually know something about and went through. So, um... Yeah, I did that for y'all and there's going to be three different sections. There is how to lose weight fast, there is how to keep weight off, and then there's also I did like a Q&A on my Instagram and so if you had questions that's where I'm going to be answering those. So that's what I'm going to be addressing in this video. Um, again, it's just going to be chatty and kind of long so I hope you guys enjoy it and I'm going to try and address everything that I can possibly think of under the sun to help you guys out with this because I've been there and I know what it's like and I'm still kind of there so like don't let me fool you I'm not like over here being a personal trainer or anything. So I'm still like in the midst of it with y'all. So I get it. So I will okay, get So it. if you see me looking at my phone, it's because I have like notes and stuff in there. Um, so I probably won't be, but just in case that's what I'm looking at. So the first part of this was actually how to lose weight fast. Um, this is something a lot of people wanna know. Usually people that are trying to lose weight for like an event, like if you have like a formal or a wedding or something and you just wanna shed like not a ton of weight, obviously because if you do that really fast, that's usually there's no way to do that super healthy. Um, but if you're just trying to drop a few extra pounds for something specific or if you are just ready to go ham because it's the new year and you are like all in it, like this is a section for you. So, um, I would say that I lost weight moderately fast. I lost 100, around 120 pounds in around slash less than a year. So that was a lot. Um, but I have lost it both very quickly and there were times when I lost it really, really slowly. So here we go. This is how you can lose weight really fast, but you got to be like crazy dedicated. Okay, so the first segment to losing weight fast, and this is honestly going to be the most important part of almost any kind of weight loss is diet. And that sounds kind of crazy because I know a lot of people think it's all about like working out in the gym and let me tell you it is, but diet is so important. Honestly, like if you can't stick to your diet plan, but you exercise a lot, you might lose weight, but it's going to be so, so much harder. Like don't do that to yourself. So how to lose weight fast diet portion. This is what I did. This worked well for me. I'm not going to say like hundred percent, this will work well for you, but everyone else I've talked to, this works really well for them and it sucks, but you have to cut out carbs. I know that that's like the worst thing ever and it's usually not very sustainable, but if you want to drop weight really quickly, cutting out like bready carbs is a huge help. That includes things like pasta and bread and potatoes and stuff like that. I mean, I know there are like carbs and vegetables, but that's different. We're not talking about those kind of carbs. You know what kind of carbs I'm talking about and that's not it. What is that? Um, so yeah, so cutting out carbs is gonna be your best friend if you're trying to lose weight fast. So for me, my diet mainly consisted of, when I was trying to lose weight, proteins like chicken, eggs, steak, pork, like all different kinds of meats. Um, so if you're a vegetarian, this is gonna be a little more difficult for you. Um, <laughs> and then vegetables, so a ton of like green vegetables, those are gonna be also your best friend because um, they keep things moving just to be frank and that's honestly like very helpful during this so like broccoli green beans salads stuff like that be careful with dressings um you got to watch those like crazy so a lot of that kind of stuff um i cut out dairy that helped me a ton dairy isn't necessarily something that everyone has to cut out but it can help you tremendously if you're trying to drop weight like really really quickly um and water tons and tons and tons of water because you have to be like flushing out toxins and everything like that and it will always always help you you're never going to i said this in my last video and someone came at me about it like you're never gonna drink too much water it's really hard to drink too much water okay you can but it's not likely gonna happen so like be chugging water be very careful about sticking to like proteins vegetables fruit sparingly um because fruit does have sugar in it, it's natural sugar, so it's not going to be as bad for you as like eating a Reese's cup, but also the less sugar the better because it is, or the less fruit the better because it is still sugar. So diet wise, 
proteins, greens slash vegetables, and fruit and water are gonna be your best friend. And that is like super boring, I understand that. Like there's ways to spice it up, don't get me wrong. You can make those foods super delicious. And Pinterest is your like gonna be your best friend, but it's not like you're gonna be eating most likely your favorite foods during this. So you gotta kind of pick and choose, which is more important. Um, but diet wise, like that is the ticket with almost everyone I've talked to that's lost weight pretty quickly or is losing weight, sticking to those food groups has helped them so much. And honestly, it's gonna help you feel a lot better too. Usually when you kick out carbs, there's kind of like a point for me at least there was where I had to deal with being kind of lethargic because for me carbs like helped me have energy but once you get over that little stage where you're letting go of them it will help you so much and you feel so much better um so yeah that is what I would suggest diet wise if you're trying to lose weight like super super fast so for exercise for quick weight loss um you probably have heard this from a thousand people and I'm going to just reiterate it but cardio is going to be your best friend but do not forget like weight training because if you only do cardio and you don't do any kind of weights and you lose more than almost any weight you're gonna have issues like it's just not as helpful and you're not gonna build muscle and you're gonna be like skinny fat and it's not gonna do that much for you but a lot of cardio will help you lose weight really fast so when I say cardio I'm not talking like elliptical like that's still good too if you have rough knees or anything like that like I'm not gonna say anything bad about any kind of any cardio is good, like go for it. Anything to get you moving is better than not. But when I say cardio, I mean like jumping jacks, like burpees, stair climber, like stuff that's hard. Like that is honestly gonna be so, so essential to losing weight is getting your cardio in there. Um, you need at least 30 minutes of cardio every single day. But when I was doing this, I would do like an hour of cardio, an hour of weights, um, which was a lot of work. But it dropped off really quickly. So um, pump up your cardio, like if you wanna go run. I don't like running, I'm not a runner, it's just not a thing for me, but like go for it. Um, running, like I said, stair stepper, jumping jacks, burpees, anything to get your heart rate up and going, like the rowing machine is great, um, cause it's kind of a full body workout and cardio at the same time, so like it's kick butt. But anything that's gonna get your heart rate up and get you sweating is going to drop the pounds. So that combined with diet, honestly, almost foolproof will help you lose weight really 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 fast and i'm not saying like i'm not trying to tell you you're going to lose 10 pounds overnight that's not healthy that's not going to work it's also water weight it'll be back tomorrow um but it will help you drop weight much faster than the next method that i'm going to get into which is kind of the slower method but a lot more sustainable this type of weight loss is usually not that sustainable because people are not usually going to want to go to the gym like two hours every day forever um but if you're training for something or trying to lose weight for something it can be super helpful but also cutting out carbs and any kind of anything forever is usually not realistic for everyone so this can be extremely stressful <laughs> if you're not used to this kind of like lifestyle um but and it, it's a lot of work but let me tell you like it, it will work so that is how to lose weight fast and on to the next section. So the second part is probably gonna be longer because this is something I'm like way more passionate about because I have learned more about it through my weight loss process. Um, and this is how to lose weight and keep it off. So I lost 120 pounds. I'm gonna be honest with you. I gained back like 40 of it and I lost like 20 of it again. So like I've been there and done that with like everything you're gonna go through or have been through, like I've been there. So don't worry, I'm coming at you with knowledge from every section of the weight loss journey. I have experienced it. Um, and I want to say like, I know what I'm talking about, but I mean, I, I'm not a trainer. So like take this with a grain of salt, but also like, this is what has helped me. That's the only information I can give you. So to lose weight sustainably in a way that you can keep up, you have to do things in moderation and not like break your back over this. So that was where I slipped up is I trained hard and ate super healthy for like a year. And then I fell off the wagon and I gained weight because my body wasn't used to things like sugar or carbs or anything like that. And once I put them back in my body, it like caught up to me really quickly. So diet wise for a sustainable weight loss, you don't have to cut out everything like carb wise, but cut it, like pull it back. So right now I'm still in like trying to lose weight, um, trying to lose like the last 20 pounds that I gained back. Um, and I still eat carbs right now. So that might seem 
counterintuitive to everything I just said the first half of the video, but it's much more sustainable than to completely cut them out at all, at least for me and for most people. So right now I do stick mostly to tons of proteins, tons of vegetables, but I also incorporate things like brown rice or like sweet potatoes and stuff like that. I try not to eat pastas and breads because that has almost usually no nutrition and so it's really not necessary. Like, yeah, it's good, but it's not gonna really do anything for you. But the thing about sustainable weight loss is you can't completely deny yourself all the time because you're gonna fall off the wagon and usually when that happens it happens hard so like say right now if i was like oh my gosh like i've eaten really well all day and i really want something sweet like i'll go have it if i want to i mean i understand moderation and that's the thing that you have to remember is that everything in moderation you can kind of get it in there um this will make weight loss slower because you are still eating things that aren't necessarily healthy for you but you most likely will be way more able to stick to this kind of diet plan so like what did I have the other day, like a Reese's or something, like I still will eat that. I just know that having five of them every single day is probably not gonna do much for me nutritionally or weight wise. So you have to be really careful about moderation in this, but like don't deny yourself, don't drive yourself crazy because it just is not healthy for you emotionally for a very long time. And it means that when you actually come off of that diet plan, you most likely will gain weight back if you're not like extremely, extremely careful. This is where a lot of people have problems is they're like gung-ho for a long time lose a bunch of weight and then go off of it and think they're gonna be fine eating the way they were before and it just doesn't work that way so you can still eat what you want just you understand like I feel like most people understand things that they should cut out so like pizza yes it's delicious don't eat it every single day have it every so often don't deny yourself to the point where you're miserable but watch what you're eating um and another thing that i actually learned kind of recently which seems to make sense like easily but i never thought of this is mindful eating and um like a ton of people have told me about this like listen to your body when you're eating this is the best way to lose weight and keep it off is to like listen to what your body's saying so a lot of people will eat past the point where they're full they'll just keep eating because it's good like don't do that because that's your body saying like you're done and you're just saying no i'm not no i'm not like i'm just gonna keep eating and that is never gonna help you so listen to what your body is saying to you and really try and pay attention to like how foods make your body feel so for me i like i just referenced love pizza but it makes my stomach hurt like it does not make me feel good i don't feel energized i don't feel like ready to go afterwards so it's not something i eat that often because it's never gonna help me honestly but i do still eat it if i want to every so often because for long-term lifestyle changes you can still fit in the things you love you just have to be really careful about how often you work that into your diet so using a lot of the diet from the first part like veggies proteins fruits and still having some of the stuff you like sometimes you will still lose weight it just will be slower but way more sustainable okay, so the second part of this is going to be exercise for like keeping weight off um, and this is going to be extremely similar to the first part because a combination of cardio and weights is always going to be your best friend. I didn't really explain the weights part in the first part, so whoops. But so for weight loss, that's going to give you the best results and stay the longest. Again, a mixture of cardio and weight training is going to be your number one plan. Um, I'm going to like reiterate what I said already because if you skip to this part, you're not going to have heard this, but cardio wise i mean like walking running stair stepper jumping jacks burpees like all that kind of stuff um that's gonna get your heart rate up and get you sweating and then for weight wise a lot of the stuff that i do and did is all body weight exercises so i don't do a ton of machine work just because and i've said this in other videos usually when you use a machine you have you don't need to have any kind of form and so there's a lot of muscles that you're not even using because you utilize a ton of muscles when you're working out not on a machine just by trying to keep form so i do a lot of like kettlebell swings and stuff with dumbbells and like squats and like all this kind of stuff with free weights because keeping form works your abs and it works your legs and it works so many things that when you're using machines like it doesn't work however that being said if you are someone that's like brand new to all this and you can't do that kind of stuff yet or you're not comfortable with that or you think you're gonna get hurt or you have injuries like use the machines any kind of exercise is better than no exercise i'm not knocking any of it i'm just saying for people that want good results and have all the abilities and have like nothing holding not like nothing holding them back but like um no injuries or anything like that like 
not using machines is going to help you a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so yeah, exercise wise, I'd say 30 minutes of cardio minimum every day, um, if not more. And also lots of body weight exercises and everything like that. But also for sustainable weight loss, you have to keep it going. So I'm not going to tell you like go to the gym two hours every day because that's not something most people can keep up. So work it in when you can. Like I have stuff at home, so if I'm not gonna go to the gym, I'll do things at home. Like I have um, like a medicine ball, is that what it's called? And like little weights and stuff like that. So I'll do stuff at home or even just try working in walking more into your day. Like if you usually don't walk that much at night, like take a nighttime walk or something. Like stuff like that can make a huge difference and I think people don't really, like when you get into a new year's resolution, you wanna just go hard, most people do, but even little changes make for huge results if they're done consistently. And that's the thing with sustainable weight loss is you have got to be consistent. You have to like, like keep going every single day and wake up every single day and say, you know, like I have this whole day to do this and if I slip up, it's okay as long as I just keep trying. Like that's the whole thing with weight loss is it's honestly such a fight. But if you keep telling yourself like I can start over not only every day, but every hour, every minute after every bite, like you're gonna kill it, I promise you. You don't have to beat yourself up because you ate something bad, just start over. And like, I've always been the person that if I eat bad at the beginning of the day, I'm like, oh, just throw the whole day away. But like, no, that's not how it works. Like you can literally just start over after that one meal or you can start over the next day. Like don't put so much pressure on yourself that you're killing yourself because you won't stick to that and you're just gonna like probably fall off. So try and have very reasonable standards for yourself when it comes to dieting and when it comes to exercise. And that is honestly the way to make it a lifestyle change rather than just losing weight for an event or trying to get fit really quickly for something specific, which isn't bad either, but this way is so much more sustainable. And usually it like makes you happier because a lot of people, if they're trying to lose weight fast, it can get very stressful and kind of all consuming and not that fun. So make sure that you're trying to make it fun and you're trying to make it part of your life, not just something you're doing to get to a goal. Goals are great too, but make it something that you actually enjoy doing and it's gonna become part of your day because then you will stick to it and that is what we want. Okay, so for this section of the video, I'm obviously definitely gonna be looking at my phone because I asked on Instagram if anyone had any questions and I got some. Um, and then I'm gonna also put some in there that I've been asked recently on other videos and I haven't really gotten a chance to answer or things that people ask me most. So if you have questions and you ask them on here, this is where I'm gonna answer that. So one of the biggest questions I got, um, and someone asked me this now um, too, was after weight loss, did I have loose skin? Or will you have loose skin after weight loss? A slash like about stretch marks and everything like that. Um, to be honest with you, like, yes, I do have some, but not really any that's noticeable so much as it's just parts of my body that are still not that toned. So they look kind of looser than they should. Um, if you lose a ton of weight, that's always something that can happen, obviously, because your body can only bounce back from so much. Like I had to lose 120 pounds. My body didn't just like snap back right like that. Um, I wouldn't really say that I have a lot of loose skin. Like I'm just going to like whip it out for you guys. Like this is what I would consider loose skin. And it's really not like, it's honestly just where I still haven't toned. But the reason that I didn't have a problem with that and why a lot of people do is because I did weights and cardio. If you do strictly cardio, that is when you're going to be at the highest risk for having loose skin because you are not building up your muscle. You're just losing weight. So there's nothing to fill in that area and there's no, it's not promoting elasticity. It's not doing anything. I mean, it's doing for, like good for you, but if you don't incorporate some kind of like, muscle building activities into that, there's not going to be anything there to build up what you've lost. And so you are at a super high risk for having excess skin. And it's honestly a lot of genetics. Like some people lose a ton of weight and have none. Some people lose a ton of weight and they have so much they have to get surgery. Like I'm not saying it's just kind of like up in the air. Like, I don't know what to tell you, but it's preventable to an extent, just dependent upon the person. So um, yes, I have some stretch marks. Yes, I have tons, like I don't even care. It's honestly like not a big deal to me because the way I see it, like, first of all, it's just part of your body. Like, what do I care? Second of all, I literally lost the same amount of weight that a physical, like other people weigh from my body. So like, am I really gonna be sitting here like, oh my God, I have these stretch marks. Like, I'm not gonna show off my body or I'm gonna be super self-conscious about it. No, like you, if you lose weight and you have stretch marks and you have loose skin, like who cares? Honestly, like 
It is so much work and you should be so proud of yourself, like yourself, wow, despite any of that stuff. Um, but I do, like, I understand. I mean, I'm human too. I get self-conscious also, like, all the time. So I totally get it. Um, but that is what I would say to you mostly is to make sure that you are incorporating weights and some kind of, like, body weight exercises and stuff like that into your training regimen so that you have way less chances of having loose skin. Um, because that's how I did it. So that's what worked for me. Um, okay. Next question is, I got a lot of questions about, like, cravings and how to stop cravings and how to like deal with that. Honestly, I have a huge sweet tooth, but I also have a huge like savory tooth. So like I have been blessed in those areas um, that I love all of it. So my biggest thing when I was sticking really strictly to diet was to find things that would cure the craving I was having. So if I was like, oh my God, I want a cupcake or I want ice cream. I would try and find something sugary that was more natural for me. So I did a lot of like strawberries during this time, which yes, still have sugar, but strawberries, cake, like come on. So I tried to put a lot of fruit in there when I got really, really like dying for sugar. Um, and again, every so often I would let myself have stuff like that just so that I didn't totally lose my mind. But most of the time I tried to supplement it with things that were better for me that had nutrients that would like cure that sweet tooth. Um, and the same thing with, like salty foods and stuff like that. If I was like dying for chips, I would try and substitute it with something else that was salty, um, like almonds and stuff like that, like like salted nuts. Um, those still have a lot of calories, but the difference between almonds and a bag of chips, like it's just nutritionally like nowhere near each other, obviously. So cravings wise, that's the best advice I can give you is to try to find something that is as close to what you want that actually has nutritional value and will kind of cure that craving. So like find something salty if you want something salty and something sweet if you want something sweet and don't deny yourself it always, but be very sparing with like how often you let yourself have things like ice cream and cake and like candy and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's what I have to say about cravings. They happen to everyone. Um, also something that I read one time that helped a lot was it was like, if you're craving a food, drink a bottle of water and then see if you still want it. Because a lot of times you're just thirsty and your body is just like, wanting you to give it something um and that helps me a ton because first of all it helps with curing your hunger in general and second of all like a bottle of water isn't that much but if you down a bottle of water you're most likely not going to want to go and get something else so that was very helpful to me and could be helpful to you i mean not everyone that doesn't work for everyone but it did work really well for me so um so a lot of people are also asking like what did i eat <laughs> He's gonna do it again um and like what i had for snacks and honestly this was always my biggest issue this was like my hardest thing because i'm such a snacker and it's a horrible habit but it just is what it is and i had the hardest time finding healthy snacks honestly and so a lot of what i snacked on and this is so boring and i'm sorry i don't have anything better to give you was like i said before vegetables fruit stuff like that i honestly had and like this makes me sound like a freak but i had like chicken as a snack like i understand that that sounds one gross two not exciting at all um but i would try and keep like cooked chicken breast in my fridge and just have pieces of it throughout the day if i was like needing to snack or something like that or i tried to keep again like vegetables stuff like that fruit um anything that would kind of help me i don't know but that had nutrition so i I'm not a granola bar fan. I think most of them have tons of sugar. I don't think that's really gonna help you much, but like do what you want. Um, nuts are good to snack on. Just be careful because they can get really high in calories really fast. Um, Bennett, don't start, but they um, can be a really good thing to supplement your diet if you need snacks and you're like dying without them. But like I said prior, a lot of times you're not actually hungry. Bennett. Um, My camera died. Um, so here we are, but that was the gist of what I was saying anyway about snacks is nuts fruits vegetables and Drinking a bunch of water and trying to remember to listen to like what you're actually feeling Are you actually hungry or are you not like that's a huge deal is actually listen to your body? Um, and you'll realize most of the time you're just bored. So Yeah, um, okay next question um is how do you stay motivated? So this is like a really big question I get all the time is how I stay motivated. 
honestly like i'm not always motivated i'm not motivated right now i have no motivation to go work out or eat healthy but it's not about always feeling motivated it's about being dedicated i read that somewhere and like whoever quoted that you go so you're not always going to feel like getting out of bed and running to the gym most of the time you actually won't but you have to remember like what you're doing this for so for me i made a ton of boards like inspiration boards um of people who were like really fit or like just had great outlooks on life because you have to remember what you're doing this for and why and how much you're going to gain from this process so for me like getting in shape was also a lot about my health and um, like my blood pressure and everything like that so just remember like why you're doing it like wake up every morning and think of the reasons why losing weight would help you and first of all if they revolve around other people like no that's not gonna help you at all so come up with reasons that are really important to you why you're losing weight so like your health like your blood pressure and stuff like that usually if you're really overweight you have high blood pressure not always but like they tend to go hand in hand they did for me um like how much you can gain from the process again like i said so like how much more you'll be able to do how much better you're gonna feel like watch inspirational videos that is my biggest thing is i love listening to like podcasts and watching inspirational videos of other people because they just get me pumped and like realigned with the whole process and keeping me like they keep me thinking positive about everything because it's really easy to get discouraged if you're not losing weight at the rate you want to or it's not going the way you think it is like it's not always gonna go well let me tell you that weight loss is not always gonna go well i have a whole rant about how actually it's kind of sucky but you have to remember that you're doing this for like your health and for you and for your life and how important it is um and that's like what i got for you <laughs> honestly staying motivated is really 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 hard but creating boards will help you so much listening to podcasts, watching videos, remembering the reasons why, and putting them everywhere. Like I would put pictures and quotes and stuff just like all over my house because first of all, I'm crazy and like whatever. And remind myself like you're doing this so that you don't have to be worried to go to the doctor about your blood pressure or you're doing this so that you can go on those walks with your mom and not feel out of breath and not be able to go. Like remember why and remember how much more important that is than like your piece of cake honestly, because I heard this quote one time that was like, replace, I don't have time for this with this isn't a priority, changed my life. So I used to be like, oh my God, like I don't have time to eat healthy. But now when I think about that, I'm like, you have to change that to eating right and getting in shape is literally not a priority to me. And eating this cookie and not going to the gym and laying on the couch is so much more important. Like think about that. It just kind of changes your priorities and helps you realign like i already said um by thinking about the fact that your health and your well-being mentally emotionally physically spiritually like all that stuff can be affected so much by your weight and your fitness level um that is how i stayed motivated but it's not always going to be easy and that is something that i don't think people talk about enough it's not always easy most of the time actually it's really hard and it's not very fun but it is so worth it like think about the results that you're going to get always think about the end goal and the end pro like process and what you want to get out of it that's my best advice motivationally um okay mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So someone asked me if I ever had plateaus. Um, yes, I had plateaus like every three pounds, <laughs> not really, but like your body, if you do the same thing all the time, your body can get used to it. So if I was doing the same kind of cardio every single day, my body would get used to it and I would stop losing weight. And I was like, Oh my God, like what? I'm trying so hard. Why am I not losing weight? Well, you got to switch it up. So if you're always running, try rowing, or if you're always doing jumping jacks try jump rope like switch it up keep your body like always guessing and also um i'll link my trainer down below too because she's a bomb and she knows everything and i'm just like honestly <laughs> could have done it without her i was honestly like not on board with this video because it keeps dying but um my trainer is full of information and this is something that she had me do so i had a trainer during this whole process but like i'm giving this information as if you don't because most people don't have that um access which i was blessed to have it but I'm trying to give it to you as if you won't um she did a lot of like interval training and that is a huge awesome way to keep from having plateaus so when i say interval training i mean like doing a certain workout for like this amount of time and then moving to the next one and then moving to the next one and doing everything in like intervals 
So I would do like rowing for like however long and then have like a little break, not like a long break, like one minute or like 60 seconds and then do jump roping, little break, like stuff like that interval training and look it up on Pinterest and Google and stuff. There's a ton of workouts on there. Like those are your best friends. They have so much information. Um, that is so helpful because it always keeps your body guessing and keeps your heart rate up and it will help you avoid plateaus, but also plateau wise, it can be related to diet. So if you're always doing the same things, doing the same workouts and you're not getting any more results, maybe switch something up, um, take something out or add something back in, switch up your exercise. Like I said, like try something different. Um, try like running the lake, I'm not gonna do that. but like try running the lake instead of doing something inside, like switch it up. Your body can get used to something and then not give results to you anymore. So that is my best advice plateau wise because I hit 50 of them <laughs> like all the time. Like it happens all the time to me and it's very frustrating, but just remember that like that's natural. Your body isn't meant to lose weight overnight super fast. So don't get frustrated. Um, but try and switch it up and that should help you honestly a lot. Okay, so the next question and one of the last ones I got was about portion control. I am really bad at this. Like if I eat something good, I wanna eat it in mass quantity and for a long time. So <laughs> I get you. But portion control wise, something that has helped me a lot other than the mindful eating. So like really paying attention to how full or not full you are and really listening to your body is using smaller plates. Like this sounds really dumb, but if you use a smaller plate, one, you can't fit as much food on there. And two, like it looks fuller. So you don't feel like, you feel like you're getting a lot more. Um, because if I got a big plate, like I would fill that whole thing up and then eat all of it. But if you get a small plate and then fill it up, there's less food and you feel like you're getting a lot. Um, it's kind of just like a trick, honestly, but it helps me so much eating on smaller plates. Um, so that's really helpful for portion control. Um, yeah, honestly, listening to your body is the biggest, biggest thing I can tell you because your body will tell you when it's full. You just got to like eat slowly and listen to it and really pay attention to if you're just eating because it tastes good or if you're eating because you're actually still hungry. Um, that's going to be one of the most surefire ways to get your portions where they're supposed to be because your body will tell you, <laughs> believe me. So like try and get in tune with that. Um, and then, like I said, smaller plates really sounds super dumb but let me tell you it is so helpful um what other questions did i get i don't have any like that was all the ones from instagram but like i'm trying to think of other ones that people have just asked me over the course of this experience um i, I don't know obviously like there are no more questions but if i could give you any advice for anyone watching this video don't let weight loss be your end all be all don't let it define you i did that to me and my life kind of fell apart um let health and I mean emotional and physical and all the other kinds of health be important to you because if you're just focused on like your weight and the number and the size, you get almost no validation from that and you won't feel that much better at the end of the process. And I hate to say that because it's a hard process to not feel any better afterwards, but make sure that during this, you're paying a lot of attention to how you feel also and like your relationships with other people and stuff like that. Like don't let losing weight become your entire life. I understand if it needs to be a big part of your life, but focus on the health aspects, focus on, you know, how it can help you in your relationships and all that kind of stuff too, because that's going to give you the best satisfaction at the end of the process, rather than just focusing on being this many pounds or like this size, anything like that. I mean, I went from a size 20 to a size 10 and I felt almost no better until I realized that a lot of my issues with myself had nothing to do with the way I looked. It had everything to do with me, like not having good relationships with people or not building strong relationships. So make sure that when you're losing weight, you're losing it for the right reasons and you really reflect on what those are and you constantly keep your focus on 